Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, however this recording finds you. My name is Chris Pascu, and this is my devotional recording identifying the anger in Jonah 4, as depicted in Jonah 4. Now, Jonah prayed to the Lord and said, O oh Lord, is not this what I said when I was yet in my country? That is why I made haste to flee to the city of Tarshish, for I knew that you are a gracious God and a merciful God, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and relenting from disaster. Obviously, Jonah was angry at the time. Was there a reason for his anger? Well, even our Lord replies, replied, is it right for you to be angry? So let's think about it. The year and time was between 772 and 754 BC. The Assyrians were still in control. However, their political state was weakening. At the time of Jonah, the Assyrians were very cruel to their captives and very lost in their sinful nature. When God spoke to Jonah, the Assyrians were a fierce and a powerful nation who disliked the Israelites. It is clear that that is the case. They were an idolatrous and a ruthless nation. We can read in Isaiah 36, 1 through 22, that is written, King of Assyria attacked all the fortified cities of Judah and captured them. Many Jews were once again killed and enslaved by now the Assyrians. Now Jonah was a Jew, obviously. It is clear that Jews, as any oppressed and conquered nation, were angry and displeased with their oppressors. During this time in history, Jews did not like the Assyrians who controlled and conquered their land and now had full control and power, right? In 1 Chronicles 5.26, we read that the Assyrians took Jews into captivity. Therefore, it is very clear that the Jews did not like the Assyrians um, or their conquest. It is clear that Jonah, being a Jew, did not want to go to the city of Nineveh for this reason. The reason is simple. The Assyrians lived there. Why would he want to save them? Jonah wanted the city of Nineveh destroyed not saved, although God had different intentions. He wanted to show his mercy upon the city. God did not ask Jonah, but commanded him to do so. Even though Jonah ran away, he eventually realized that life is better if he listens to the instructions that God gave him. He eventually did as God asked. However, Jonah was not happy and remained unhappy. In Jonah 4.1, we re read, and it's described that he is very wrong and an angry man, although he continued talking to God and God talking to him. Because of his bitter heart, God allowed Jonah to remain uncomfortable until he learned a lesson outside of the city of Nineveh. Jonah is an unfinished story. However, the lessons are clear. God saves and loves everyone. Repent and listen to God when he speaks. Be humble and not proudful. May we learn from Jonah and always listen to God as he commands us to do his work. Have a blessed day and live through the will of our compassionate, merciful, and slow to anger, abounding in love creator of the universe, our Father in heaven, the maker of all things. Thank you for watching.